Hey, this is Bjorn Rebney, CEO and Chairman of Bellator MMA. You're watching ProMMANow.com. Hey guys, Daniel Dito here from ProMMANow.com with King Mo. How's it going? Going good, but let me say something. When you were at my crib about six, seven months ago, you looked way different. You looked like a junkie, like a like one of them white meth addicts, but you had a little weight to you. You look terrible, like some trash, like a homeless man in Detroit. Is that why you fed me? I didn't even recognize you, you know what I'm saying? Until now, that look at you all clean and, you know what I'm saying? I spiff well when it's like, you for real. Yeah, you know, spiffy, real spiffy, dog. I'm impressed. All right, thank you very much. You know, that was after training, man. I, Peroni said we're going somewhere. I didn't know we were walking into your place. No excuse for that, dog. You look terrible. I, I can't even, I can't even describe how bad you look. We just gotta do like before and after. All right, but you, I'll let it slide because you fed me a steak, you took care of me. No, but you had, you had sweats on, with spaghetti stains on them. You know what I'm saying? Like oil stains in your shirt. Uh, it was <laughs> disgusting, man. I was, I was All right, disgusting. King Mo, we're here at Bellator 85. First time on Spike. The main card's about to start. What do you think of uh, Bellator being here at Spike and how things going so far? You're getting ready to fight next week. Everything's going good, man. I, I'm glad that, um, you know, Bellator got the time to shine on Spike TV. I think they're up to big things because Bellator treats MMA like a true sport. Tournament format is found in every true sport. The Olympics, baseball, basketball, hockey, football, you know what I'm saying, college. Mm -hmm. You see a tour tournament format, and that's what, you know, you have, you know, when you win the tournament, you get a chance to prove you're the best and fight for the belt. You know, and Spike TV is a good, good place to show it and uh, show the talents that Bellator has acquired. Who are you fighting uh, next week, and what do you think of it? I'm fighting a dude named Koslaw, because I can't pronounce his name. He's from Holland. I mean, not Holland, but from Poland. Tough dude. You know, um, I'm looking to bang him out. You know, it's, it is what it is. He's kind of like a strong banger, typical Polish fighter, like KSW type guy, or what? Yeah, but he's good grappling. Uh, um, Kamora, Kamora guy, on bar. He has 19 and 6 is his record. Most of his wins, I think 13 of his 19 wins come by submission. Some former arm lock, so I'm looking to shut that down. All right, so you're going to do your MMA thing next week. I know you're looking to get a win and keep going and go through the Bellator tournament and become the champion, right? Yeah, man. I'm looking to win and win and win and keep on winning. You know, win in pro wrestling, too, when I get a chance to do TNA. Win when I get my chance to do my boxing. And then hopefully win some more and keep on winning and try to fight heavyweight. How have things been going so far at TNA? You know, you getting a little pop when you walk out? I am, but you know what? Right now I'm focusing on MMA, but, man... It's this pro wrestling stuff is hard, dog. It's harder than MMA. My, my back was all sore. My neck was all sore. Armpits is all. I'm black. I'm brown, very brown. My armpits and my lower back, my side of my back, was red from running the ropes. Yeah. That's how you know it was hard. But you're good now. You, you, they let you go and concentrate on MMA training. Get ready for this Bell Tour tournament. So you got three months now to kick butt in MMA. And then you'll probably work for Dixie again, right? Yeah, you know, um, I went to pro wrestling school in um, OVW in Louisville, Kentucky. From there, I flew to Holland, did my training. Then from there, I flew to Vegas and got with Jeff Mayweather and Roy Nelson and Ryan Martinez and my, my boy uh, uh, over at uh, Ryu. Uh, what's up my name? Oh, Ron, Ron Frazier. So, uh, you know, uh, getting good work in. So you officially moved to Vegas now? Have you left AK and now you're doing the boxing thing, you know, a lot of boxing training in Vegas? And yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm in Vegas right now. AK will be a place that I'll go back and spar. And their team's still my team. But I feel like, you know, um, for one, San Jose is just too expensive for a brother. You know what I'm saying? It's too expensive for a brother. But, you know, I get good work in, uh, in Vegas right now. So I'm going to go back to AKA for some camps and this and that. But right now, with the Bellator format, I'm going to be fighting back to back to back yeah. to back. So, yeah, I figured that I should do my camps in Vegas for right now. So, man, I, good luck. I hope you make it. You become the Bellator champion. After, like, three months, you'll probably get time off, do the TNA thing for a little bit. And then maybe what? You're, you're working the boxing. You're looking at the end of the year. Maybe I think Spike TV would like it. You want to box up Kimbo Slice on Spike TV? That would do killer ratings. Yeah, hold up. Hey, 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 coach. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Let me, let me get my coach in. Come on, come on. Yeah. Say something in this. No, just get up over here and say something real quick. Ask the question you just asked me. How you doing, sir? <laughs> Good. You, you throwing hands? You're the boxing coach? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if this man... He, he becomes Bellator champion in a few months. Let's look into the future. Let's, let's hope that maybe the king becomes the king. Then he's going to do his little TNA pro wrestling thing, get some pops from the crowd, build up his audience a little bit. You think then maybe at the end of the year he could box up Kimbo Slice on Spike TV, do some killer ratings? I love it. I would love it. 
what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do to Kimbo? <laughs> he gonna do to Kimbo the, the same thing the other guy did to Kimbo when it was what was it? What was it? What was it called? Yeah, I mean, you don't think you don't think Kimbo can box? I mean, he's moving a little bit, like kind of old Mike Tyson style. I'm not saying that Kimbo can't box. He didn't box so good in MMA, but he boxed okay in the backyards. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I mean, but but still, I mean, that's backyard, backyard, and that's you know, with those guys probably wouldn't even athletes. So what, what kind of stuff is Kimbo doing? He's slipping jab, he's shoulder rolling. What's he? I what's mean, he, got going? he got a little bit of everything going, but um, by the time that that come around, we're gonna have everything sharp and on up point, up to point. So, do you, would you like Spike TV? Or you want to throw it out there, Spike? Say, hey, let me do the Bellator. Let me do the TNA, and at the end of the year, let's set up a mega fight. Because I, I mean, it would do killer ratings. It really would, especially yeah. once you build up. I think, yeah, I think that Spike TV should hold me versus Kimbo. You know, after I get take care of business in the tournament and with TNA wrestling, and we could do another document, some type of documentary showing me training at the Mayweather Gym with the great. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, let me ask you about someone else who might become becoming a free agent soon. I talked to Bjorn about it yesterday. I proposed that maybe he tries to get a deal like you. What, what if Rampage comes over, gets a one or two Bellator fights and a TNA deal? Because I think he'd be interested in that. Would you throw down with him in the Bellator cage and or do work some matches with him in TNA? If it's if it's a possibility, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm look. The money is what speaks. You know Maybe you could box Rampage after you box up King Mo, or after you box up uh, Kimbo Slaves. It's whatever, man. Money talks. You know what I'm saying? I just do what the money says. Isn't that right? Yeah. That makes them part of the money team. What do you, <laughs> that makes them part of the money team. <laughs> I said the food stamp team. <laughs> the money team. EBT. So would you like to see that oh, by the end of the year? Maybe by the end of 2013, no, like, you would like to see him get a boxing match? No, definitely, definitely. You think he's got a good future in it? Yeah, I think that. He breaks everything I mean, down, right? I mean, I talked some boxing with him. He really breaks it down. He's a good student. No, he's a great student of boxing. I mean, that was, I didn't really have to make that many adjustments when he came to me, you know, as far as his, um, his hands. His hands were pretty good. Yeah. All right. Well, great. Anything you want to plug or shout out or? Hey, MMA Elite, what's up? Hey, the Mayweather Gym, Jeff Mayweather. Doing my thing over there and just helped me train. Give him a shout out. And uh, you did a great job cleaning up because you looked terrible when I first seen you. All right. <laughs> well, I guess I cleaned up. Go to promomainnow.com. Thanks.